What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am here to explain why you're not seeing immediately Denmark part 19. That's because I've had a bit of a marathon recording session and I've got lots of 13 colonies parts, US parts and Denmark parts recorded and I recorded part 18. Um, well, I've recorded the Denmark parts and then the US parts and then I've come back now to rename them and get ready to render them. And it turns out that, well, midway through my Denmark 19 part, which is both of these files, um, my game actually crashed during the end turn on the Ottoman phase. And that's why this file is a 6.52 gigabyte file of nothing. Double click it, I don't get... I don't get anything. And I don't... I don't quite know how to fix it, so that's why there won't be a... Part, that's why this this part's half the length because I fought the battle that was outlined in this part. I fought this battle here, this defence, and I'll get to tell you right now it went really badly, like really badly. I ended up ended up um, evacuating this army by by sea back down towards Karnataka. Then what ended up happening was I moved lots of troops in following the loss of Hindustan to help push back again. So you'll see half a part um, because I have got 13 minutes of footage picking up from the time where it crashed or where I loaded it back up. Because what happened was I ended the turn, hit the Ottoman side, it crashed. I reloaded the save because it auto saves it before the end turn. I hit end turn and it worked fine. Um, the next time. I don't quite know why, but as you can see, um, if I pause it up here, this army at Katak is no longer here. That's because the general died and the army was moved to um, Karnataka, not Karnataka, Ceylon. There, that there he is. So he got defeated and I pulled him back to the island and I've started to rebuild Force 7 in Karnataka for another push inland. So, sorry this part's only half long half the length. I didn't find out till after I'd recorded it and saved the files um, that it hadn't saved. And yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, you guys kind of got a, got a one-hour special last week, so it kind of balances out. Maybe. I don't know. Not really. Um, but yes. Sorry guys, not much I can do about that. So hope you enjoy the remainder of this part. Cheers everyone. Okay guys, we've got our first warning there. My end... <laughs> During the end turn, uh, my game crashed trying to load the Ottoman's turn, so I loaded up the autosave and it went instantly. Um, but that's a bit of an alarming sign. So the Marathas are back. So let's dispatch this fifth. What have they got here? A sloop and a Zebek. So let's dispatch a squadron of ships to blockade Bengal. Send Samuel Patterson back to free up. And the port at Calicut. I, mean, I might just take the Jebek. Scoop the log, Ferdy, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Port. Rebuild. I might even suicide the Jebek in if they've got anyone. Any ports that are vulnerable, like this one. Damn. Just hoping I could go in and break there building but they are just building chaff which is promising so fifths fifths would be good fourths would be better let's get these sea boys across the water so they haven't fancy trying to attack us on the main front. So let's keep our advanced armies together. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. As so let's put... I'll put the militia in the fort just to make sure they don't... It's not completely vulnerable. It's so Tony... Let's give him two howitzers. Let's give him a 
mixture of Indian troops. Need that order? And company troops, same again. Marsh. Let's give him two units. Let's pull two units of company troops out. And put two grenadiers in. order. Then what you want is foot artillery. Oh, actually, that's what's being built here. So hold on. Probably would have been easier just to let that all happen, but there we go. Three units of foot artillery. And that's you done. Redo. Inventor order. Let's group up in Kamatika. So Ceylon, build an ordnance board. Ooh. Let's get two units of household cavalry. Looks lots of good building going on. Two elite units in England. Inventor order. Let's take. Have we got a sloop here? No. So let's take a second rate. And let's move these troops to the Indian theatre just as a resupply effort. And then to make up for that, let's build two second rates to replace it. We also want to build a sloop for transport purposes, or maybe even a fifth, or maybe even a sixth, because they're only one turn. Let's get a f fourth rate for now. I don't, we're not recruiting anything I immediately need to transport. Let's not build an army board yet, actually. Let's build two units of elite marines. Because I want to try and send units out there which they can't yet recruit. And that's using pretty much elite troops. Good, fleet arrives. So here's the army from London. Deposit them off the coast in Karnataka. Get the sloop back to safety. So what's going to end up happening is that I'm probably going to end up hunkering down and defending these two areas of the strong garrison while I send three armies to go take somewhere. I need to stay. I need to group my strength together. Caribbean Sea. Okay, can you successfully leave Santo Domingo? You can. Oops. To buck the fleet. So their army is expected to be here. It is. With a very good, very, very good fifth rate. Let's just land off the coast. Then my sloop can just blockade the port. And my navy up here. You chaps can blockade here to make sure they don't leave. The Russians have recruited a colonial army full of colonial light. Good stuff. Okie dokie. So now, weirdly, even though we've lost Hyderabad, I feel stronger in my position now, because I've got four full stack armies ready to push up. Granted, they've got more than that, so I can't loop, I can't wait. I have to keep feeding troops in. But this army will eventually form form one. Form a unit. To be honest, I could just disband the general's bodyguard. He won't recruit a new general. Cool, let's do one test of an end turn. So this game crashes or things go okay. Like I said last time, 
the Ottomans were fine. Um, but the time before that, it crashed. The French have taken Munich. <laughs> but the hope is, if I take Cuba, I can make peace with the Spanish and even trade with them. <laughs> In the Ottoman turn. I could just hold one of the river positions up here. If they want to attack from Kutak, then I can massacre them as they cross the river. But I need quick climb and desperately. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Okay, let's take you. Take Kuba. Diplomacy. Spain. Peace and trade. Curses. Can you leave the capital immediately? You can. Go ahead and intercept that guy heading straight for us. Because he is going to cause no end of trouble, I suspect. Okay, one more turn to the ordnance. Oh no, am I not even... I'm just burning gunnery scores. Ah, oh, nuts! It's going to be even longer. Ordnance board. Why am I burning one in Calcutta? I'm only one turn ahead, though. Ah, so into this army. Deposit them all into the ships. Actually, if I move just the fifth, the fifth can actually move. So let's move all the ships, bar the sloop, up. Is he trying to rip... Oh no, that, that fleet was there originally. Actually, you're better off, better off raiding. Get these two sloops to deposit themselves off the coast here. You're blockading here, so we've got the west coast locked down. The question is, I advance on Hyderabad, that might be too many. Mm. To be honest, I've got enough troops now, I'd feel confident doing it. So let's move these guys up together. It's a weaker army. Take up a defensive position. Have another howitzer unit. Hartman here can have two Sipoi units. He's going to move up with the main column. The rest of them can... You can form a new army. Wait a minute. <laughs> so which one's the which one's the big headed identical twin and which one's the little headed? Uh, okay, ships are being recruited in the English Channel. Okay, let's move this fleet from here to Malmo. Actually, no, probably better. We'll probably more protect. No, they could still sail in. Like, you're only blocking. No, Malmo is, is the better place. Let's put a sloop. Trade re raided. No, that's me. Vice Frontiersman. Oh, that's this guy. Because soon gonna hit Baudoremo Crispy. Okay. Let's 
Let's just make sure everyone's doing good tech. Meaning, if our interrogation is good, but I want more military tech. Well, I want more artillery tech, really, but can't really do anything about it. You may as well keep doing what you're doing. Maybe not the upkeep just yet. Back to India. I need to keep. So what? What did me last time? I think was I played it. I played it um, too fast and loose with the garrison at Hyderabad. So I want to keep it full, a full stack garrison in there constantly with loads of mortars. Those are the boys I want. So let's get one recruiting, ready to move up. Okay, good. Yeah, got Cuba. Cool, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a bit of a ter bit turmoil. There has been a bit of turmoil in the last couple of turns, um, but yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to sort ourselves out. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the recapture, hopefully, of Hyderabad. Cheers, everyone.